Hey, this is Alex Kasiniuk, and welcome to this Blender Basics tutorial. Now, I know I just did a goblet modeling tutorial on how to box model a goblet, but I actually wanted to go into box modeling a little bit more, because it kind of is essential to know this if you want to continue modeling and you want to improve on your modeling techniques. It's one of the main types of modeling. Although you can pretty much get away with poly by poly modeling now and NURBS modeling and even curves modeling, uh, box modeling still is a good thing to know for any type of modeler. Anyways, so one example that I actually wanted to show now is how to box model a table. So it's a nice and simple shape, so let's get started with this. So I'm of course going to use the default cube because it's the perfect shape. I'm just going to go into front view and I'm actually going to size this and uh, scale it along the z-axis just to make it a little bit more flat. So you just want to scale along the z-axis and this will be our actual surface of our table. So we want to make it quite thin and from top view I'm just going to make this a little bit bigger. You can also hold down control to have a more precise movement and scaling. And then I'm actually going to scale along the x-axis, just to make it more narrow. Okay, so that's a decent shape. Um, maybe a little bit more thin, actually. So that's good. Okay, so this is our primary shape, and this is what we're going to start with. And really all we have to do now is add some loops along the edges and extrude the actual legs of the table down. And that's pretty much all we're going to do. It's not going to be a very fancy table. Okay, so what we want to do now, you can even be in a perspective for this if you want to, but we're just going to go into edit mode by pressing tab, and we're going to hit control R to add an edge loop. And once you see the pink ring around it, you can just left click and drag this over to the edge. So that should be good. Um, we're also going to put another loop across the middle here, but adjacent to the other loop. And we actually might want a little bit more precise movement, so you might not want to be in perspective view unless you don't really care about the proportions or anything. So trying to kind of get that at the right distance. That seems about right. Okay, so now we're actually going to add some mirror modifiers. I know this isn't a modifiers tutorial, but I really just want to save some time by doing that, and I think this is what you would normally do when making this type of a model anyways. So what we want to do is first cut this mesh in half, in both directions actually. So we just want to add one directly in the middle so you can left click and then immediately right click to place it in the middle. And then again, cutting it down half in the other direction. Um, you now it won't actually be right in the half because we've actually added a loop at this side, so we actually have to manually move this loop over to the middle. Okay, so now we actually want to delete this half, so we want to select uh, border select all those vertices and hit delete. And of course we have occlude back faces on, so I should probably turn that off and then select them again, hit delete, and again for this half of it. So we've pretty much just cut down our table 25%, or 75%, but um, what I'm going to do now is apply the mirror modifier. So in object mode, so hit tab, we want to go to the modifiers panel right over here and add a mirror modifier. And we want to enable clipping on the mirror modifier as well. And also, we want to enable the y-axis well. So, there we have it, our table's back again. And really all we have to do is edit this one little section right here. And it will apply the rest uh, to the rest of the mesh. And I think that's good for the actual top. Now we just want to use this face right here to extrude the legs from. So we just want to go over to face select select this face, 
and go into, I guess, side view or right view. And we just want to hit E to extrude this uh, down to about there. So there is our table. Now I'll just add a little bit of extra detail because this, this is pretty basic. Um, we want to bring this ridge out a little bit so it looks like the table's overlapping the legs just a bit. So we just want to select all these faces. Not that face. So all of those faces are along the edge of the table. And from top view, we can uh, hit E for extrude. And we just want to bring this out a little bit. Um, now you'll notice if you have a mirror modifier on, it's going to be hard to actually bring this out. So you might want to do one uh, axis at a time. So we're just going to bring out the Y a little bit, and then the uh, X axis. And we're still going to have to move this over anyways. So just move this over to the mirror modifier where it meets. And well, this one as well, I guess. Oh, we have clipping on, so I'm going to have to take that off. So that's pretty much it. So now that we've done that, we have a little bit of a ridge that extrudes out a little bit. Um, yeah, you can even customize the legs if you want. Uh, and again, we have the mirror modifier, so it's nice to be able to just customize one of them and then all of them kind of follow suit. So yes, there's our table. Now I'm going to show a few other examples of box modeling just in a time lapse, but that was my demonstration right there.